Hi guys, it's Promi Sebastian here again with another awesome Blender tutorial. Happy Sunday, trust you are doing good. Okay, so I'm going to be sharing with you guys three Blender tricks. I feel it's awesome and you need to know them if you're not using them. Okay, so first one is a cube here I have here. So let's say I duplicate this cube and then let's right click and click on duplicate object and then G to grab and then X and then grab this object here. Should in case we want to um, get a multiple duplication of this, now that is we want to extend the duplication, We'll probably right click and click duplicate again and then drag or straight to the X axis and drag. But then with Shift T, if I left click on this and click Shift R, not Shift T, if I click Shift R now, it's going to be doing the same function I just did. So let's say I just right click again and duplicate this now and then constraint to the Y axis and place it here. So I don't need to do this again. What I just need to click is Shift R now and then it does the same function. For me okay so this is great i hope you do use it if you're not go try it out it's awesome okay so the next one is selection tool this is a very very awesome tool okay you know about selection but then there's a selection trick i don't know whether you use it but then get to learn it is very great okay so now i'm going to click on this box now and then probably get a uv sphere shift a now and then head over to mesh uv sphere and then i'm going to select get the uv sphere now so together with this UV sphere and this boss now, let me select the both of them and then head over. Let me use Alt Z and then the both of them are selected. Control Tab Six now, Control Tab Six and then head over to Edit Mode. Now these two bosses are selected. If I want to select this boss now, I'll probably click Link and it selects just the boss for me. And then if I want to select the UV sphere, place my cursor on the UV sphere and then L it selects the, only the UV sphere. But then let's say I want to select some part of the middle of this UV sphere that's kind of box select now. So let me left click on an empty scene now. Okay, so if you check your selection tool, there are about five options here that you can play around with. I don't know if you play around or you've checked them. Okay, so you have this one now, which is select a new selection. You have this one, which is extend existing selection. You have this one, which is subtract existing selection. You have this one, which is invert, and then this other one which is intersect okay so this is really great so watch now let's say i click link now and um i want to select just some part of this place now that is i want to select only the middle of this bus now so how am i going to do that if i try to with this select selection tool now try to select just here now so it's going to select all round of this, but then I want to select the middle of this. That is, you can also change from this box select to the circle select. But then this one is if I click L and select all this now. If I want to select just the center here, look at what I will do. Instead of using this um set a new selection, I will switch to other one and set existing selection. So what this one will do for me now is if I box select just here now. It's going to remove all selection and just select only here for me. That is what it's going to do for me. Or then let's say I just want to unselect only here. If I want to unselect just the middle of this place now, I'll just click on this other um, option here, which is subtract from existing selection. And then I'm going to subtract this side of it. And then if I box select this side, it's going to remove this side and leave others for me. So this is really great. There are other options here. So you could try all those other options and see what you're going to get with them. Okay, so now the third one is sculpting. So let's head back to sculpt mode. I will let's click on my object now. Let's click on the, an empty scene now. And then G, let me hold Z. Or Z now G and then Y grab to somewhere here. So let's click on the UV sphere now. And then G and then Y again to grab this somewhere here. And then I'm going to shade smooth this now. So I will right click now, head over to shade smooth. Let's click on shade smooth. Now I'm going to go over to sculpt mode to control tab two now. So head over to sculpt mode f to reduce the size of my brush and then drag in to reduce the size of my brush so let's say i want to sculpt just particular person. normally if i use a grab brush now which i'm, I'm using now then the click and hold and then drag it as it's going to sculpt or do some kind of deformation on the mesh but then particularly if i just want to hold the whole deformation to affect one side no matter the brush i'm using what i just need to do is just press shift a now and then place my cursor to that side now and then let's click now so now all these other side are disconnected from this now now i can only affect or change anything with any brush on this side now that is this light gray rather than this side that is ash in color you get so then if i want to remove it all i just need to do is click a again and shift a again and then hold control and then let's click again so now i have back my mesh so this is really great 
but in case you are very like you're into sculpting you would want to explore some of these tools okay so guys thanks for watching if you did enjoy this tutorial do hit the subscribe button and the bell notification button so you get notified once i drop an awesome blender tutorial okay so i have a course on udemy as well that you could head over to you learn every single thing about blender both modeling sculpting and animation it is very concise and detailed so you might want to check it out on the description link okay so guys thanks once again see you on my next tutorial bye